Most of the views of NCT 127's Two Baddies MV are believed to have come from promotional ads on YouTube. Continue reading to know what started the speculation. On September 15th at 6 p.m. KST, NCT 127 pre released a music video for Two Baddies, the title song of their new studio album of the same name, which was dropped the following day. A hip hop dance track, Two Baddies talks about running forward while keeping one's focus on their own principles. The MV for the song features various computer graphics, flashy lighting, and more. And CT 127's Two Baddies MV has accumulated 75 million views on YouTube and almost a million likes as of this writing. But recently, there have been discussions on the number of views of the MV mostly coming from promotional ads. On September 25th, one netizen created a post titled There are hot talks about 85% of NCT 127's MV views being from promotional ads on the online community TQ. First, the netizen talked about how NCT 127's Two Baddies MV didn't chart in YouTube's weekly top 100 music videos for the week of September. 9 to 15, even if it reached 20 million views 18 hours after its release. The netizen said that week's chart accounts for 19 hours since the release of the video, and they had 20 million views in total including the promotional views, but the actual views didn't even reach 4 million, number 100, so they didn't even enter the chart. What the Thika user meant is that the YouTube Weekly Top 100 Music Videos chart, dated September 9 to 15, ranked the MVs based on the views they garnered in 19 hours since their release. However, NCT 127's Two Baddies MV didn't enter the rankings, even if it hit 20 million views, 18 hours after it came out. The MV that took number 100 in that week, accumulated 4 million views, hence, the netizen believed that the actual views of two baddies didn't surpass 4 million. Second, the netizen pointed out the number of views that NCT 127's two baddies got in its second week of release, based on YouTube's weekly top 100 music videos, for the week of September. 16 to 22. In this week's chart, the calculation dosed account for the first day of release, TN, which was counted in the previous week, but accounts for a whole week, and they only got an additional 8 million views. Accounting the promotional ads, their total views were 65 million views. They added, until 1 o'clock this Friday, their real views were around 12 million, while their promotional views totaled 65 million. On the YouTube Weekly Top 100 Music Videos chart, dated September 16 to 22, and CT 127's Baddies MV debuted at No. 21 with 8.17 million views garnered in its first week, excluding the day of its release. At the time the MV entered the chart, it already had 65 million views. Therefore, the netizen speculated that NCT 127's Two Baddies MV views mostly come from promotional ads, 82% to 87%. As of press time, the Thika post has surpassed 82,000 views and over 1,200 comments. Other netizens who saw the post have different opinions, as usual. One netizen commented that NCT 127's biggest fandoms are in Korea and China, however, since China is blocking YouTube, the group only have Korean and overseas SM fans. And this is why their views are low. They continued, the fact that they can sell so many albums is all thanks to Chinese fans' loyal love towards SM. The other comments are as follows. Did their MV really get 8M views? Are these calculations from YouTube and not another site? Can they even have this big of a gap? Wow. This is severe. At this point, it's not that their fans are watching their MVs, but their fandom isn't big enough to stream it as much, no. I did feel that the promotional ads this time were severe. Since they are releasing it at the same time as Blackpink, they probably felt lacking. If you compare the likes to views with theirs and Blackpink's, the difference is way too big. Wow, that's severe. 
They have way too little views compared to their sales. Wow, are their fans skipping their song too? Just how is this possible? What are your thoughts on the topic? Leave a comment below. For more K-pop news and updates, keep your tabs open here at Popstars.